Hey guys, so I'm on Windows today and I made some changes to the app to get it working and I wanted to share one of those changes that I made and that is in our package.json for the server. So in our package.json we are setting an environment variable when we start or when we test and Windows computers don't like that very much. So I had to install a package called crossinv and I just put that in front of it and it just adds that to the environment variable for me and now this will work on both Windows, Mac, and I believe Linux as well and so I just add that as a dev dependency up here um, there we go and then I just changed also my ORM config it made me add a password on my uh, Windows when I installed Postgres so I just changed the password here to now be Postgres as well um, but ever, other than that, everything I was able to get working on Windows computer and uh, I have the app running on Android right here. The button doesn't look like it's showing up at the bottom very well, so we might need to add some padding or something at the bottom. Um, but other than that, the app looks like it's working good and so we're going to be starting on the picture. Um, so we want to add like a little button here that I click on that adds a picture when I'm uh, doing this and then I'm going to upload it to the uh, server. So to do this we need to install some packages, same thing that we use for the web. So here is what I did. I already ran yarn add and here are the types. So I added this is a dev dependency Apollo upload client and then I also just downloaded the Apollo upload client. So same thing we're using for the website. Um, and we can copy what we did for the website and add that here. So we just replace um, the HTTP link with the upload link and then we're also going to use create upload link instead so create upload link and that's all the changes we need to make for setting stuff up now we have to just grab the actual picture and send it up so in the create listing over here what I want to do is I want to create another field so we have our input field and we have our checkbox field or checkbox group field. We're going to create another field that's going to be like a picture field. So I'm going to go to the shared and let's add a picture field.tsx. And I'm going to copy all the stuff that we did here, paste it in here. Our usual setup when creating a new one. Now instead of input I'm gonna have just a button that the user clicks on uh, I'm not gonna worry about on change I'm gonna rename this to picture field we're gonna give this a prop called title so the user can specify what the button will actually say and we don't need anything but the props passed here and I'm gonna put an on press I'm going to say this dot on press and we can get rid of the error message and these things well I guess I can destructure them and just not use them and that's fine because we actually don't want to pass these onto the button at least we're not going to be using them so I'm going to say on press And so when the user clicks on this button, I want to take them to the screen where they can see all the pictures that they have on their phone. I'm going to get rid of this. And the way we do that is uh, by using a library from Expo. So we're going to be using the image picker from Expo. And there's uh, two different settings or functions we can call. If you want, you can actually launch the camera if you want the user to take a picture. In this case, I'm going to do this one to launch an image library async. And what we're going to do here is have them pick a picture and then the return value, we can then grab the URI, which we care about. And then we're going to be using um, the React Native file from Apollo Upload Client. And we create the file and this is what we actually upload to the server. So let's give this a try. Let me copy what we need. So launch image async. So we're going to import image picker. 
from expo. So we're gonna say const, and we care about the URI, and we get this from the image picker. And now here are options. I don't think there was any options that I cared about um, to add to this. The return values are URI, width, height, and type. The type will be nice because we can pass that directly into this over here. And then we're gonna have to give it, so we're gonna get these two values from the image picker. The name we're gonna have to make up ourselves. So let's go back over. So the URI and the type is what I care about. Oops. And let's make this asynchronous. And now I wanna create a file. And we're gonna get this from uh, Apollo upload client. And we're gonna get that native file. So, new react native file pass in the uri the type and then the file name we'll just leave blank or was it just name there we go the name i'm just going to leave blank because uh it doesn't matter we're not using it on the back end or i guess i could just call it picture or whatever let's see what it doesn't like um image result has no property type so it looks like it's not liking it so I'm gonna call this image result and see what we can do image result dot and the only thing I can do is canceled let's see what their example does so so they are awaiting the image picker the result all right so if the result is not canceled then we can get access to the URI, okay. So if image result dot canceled, so if this is not, then the URI is going to be image result dot URI and image result dot type. Cool. And so this file is what I want to um, set the value of this field to. So we're gonna get that from the props. So we're gonna get the field, and here we'll get the name. And then from the form, we'll get set field value. And we're just gonna say set field value, the name, and then the value is gonna be the file. So now uh, this component is complete. We can come over um, back to our listing over here. Uh, maybe I'll put this underneath the name. So the name of this is going to be picture, I think. Yep, picture. Placeholder name. Instead of that, we're going to say title. Pick a picture. And the component is going to be a picture field. Uh, looks like it's another one of those that doesn't like I've noticed uh, I get this red line whenever I add props here so I added uh, this title there if I get rid of it save um, it likes it here um, but and that's something we can do because I'm already spreading the props here um, either way I do expect a title to be passed to this so there's a little bit of a uh, a difference between what the field is expecting and what the field is getting, at least from a TypeScript point of view. I'm not sure the best way to approach that. The other thing I can do is just say as any and leave this over here, which is what I usually do, because I want to know that I expect a title here, even if it doesn't check it over here. Um, all right, so this looks good. Let's go ahead and refresh over here. All right, so refresh and I can see the pic picture now. And I'm just going to open up my log here. We can see the picture is currently null. And now I can click on this to go to my gallery. Uh, I have a picture here. I went ahead and just added this to my emulator. If you'd like to add an image to your emulator, if you don't have any, because that was the case for me, 
all you have to do is take a picture and drag it over to the emulator and drop and it'll go ahead and add it here and you can click on it so now if I click on this cat guy I now see the picture is a react native file so that is perfect so now I'm ready to upload this to the server and see if I actually do get that image on my server so let's do the last step and I guess before we can even do the last step I want to push that up real quick so I'm just going to come here to the very bottom and let's add some padding on the bottom so I'm going to say padding bottom is 20 I'm not sure what the best way to bring this up or if this is even going to work alright let's try 50 uh, maybe margin will do it That alright this doesn't look like it's doing anything margin bottom 50 that doesn't do anything either maybe I just need to add it to my scroll view so we have a scroll view inside of a view I wonder if that's hurting things I'm gonna try getting rid of the view see if that works so I removed the style and the button as well alright that does not help it either I guess I can give the scroll view some padding oh it does have padding on it I wonder if that's what's messing it up so I'm gonna say padding bottom is zero still nothing so I'm gonna just, just to test this I'm gonna say padding horizontal so padding horizontal should only affect the left and the right not the top and I don't think it refreshed all right so it looks like it was the padding on the scroll view that was messing it up now we can see the button all right so now I can click on that button and we're going to submit it now I can't actually just pass the, the values directly in let's go ahead and add that add a comma there um, it's gonna get mad at me and the reason for that is the types are all messed up because we had to make these into strings to make uh, them render okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to cast some of the values so I'm gonna say values and I'm gonna spread values here and then the ones that I need to change I'm gonna just like pick off so the things that we need to are price beds guess latitude longitude and I think I need to just spread at the end so the beginning there we go so now I'm gonna keep all the values the rest of them the same but these guys what I can do is I can cast them to the correct type so for example price is going to be parse int price and we can do this a couple times for each each one so beds guess uh, latitude and latitude and longitude are uh, floats so I'm gonna say parse float now I'm doing this 10 thing at the end that's something I think TypeScript likes I'll show you what I mean in a second let's finish off the longitude sorry we get rid of all the TypeScript warnings if I get rid of the 10 um, it complains about there's a second parameter to parse int called the uh, radix or radix I'm not sure how you say that uh, but TypeScript's like you should specify it so in this case we want our number to be converted to base 10 so we say that right there so we're just being explicit alright so now we are casting the types from string to the correct types that the TypeScript expects and that our server expects um, I believe I think we made this guy an integer we'll find out if it crashes um, but let's try uploading an image now so um, if this works we should be able to see in our server images so right now my images folder is totally empty so I'm gonna pick an image pick my cat let's give it a name and let's scroll to the bottom and hit save alright so network request failed and I actually don't even know the best way to debug this if I come over here my server looks like it didn't have any problem now I'm guessing if we do have a network problem like this what it's 
it's either two problems one I can't even reach the server or two um, the types are wrong so what I usually do in this case is first verify that all these types are what they should be so if we come over to create listing um, the only things that should be floats are latitude and longitude and be guests beds and price should be integers um, and all that looks good so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if uh, my servers just messed up alright guys so I did some debugging and I have a little bit more information about why this thing is crashing so here's how I went ahead and tried to figure out what I was getting with that network error. So the first thing was I opened up the menu, which is control M or command M. And I clicked on the uh, remote debugging. So I have it running right now. And you can then go to this URL or it should auto open. And now I can see some stuff in my console or my log over here. Now the other thing is I'm not able to see the network requests, but I found a stack overflow that explained what something I can add. So I added this to my index.tsx. And so now all network requests are visible um, over here. So when I click on network, I can see all the ones happening and I can clear it. And so I was able to come back over here pick a image like my cat hit save and I could actually see the request going off or in this case oops still pending I did not mean to open that up um, and here's crashed now interesting the interesting to me was I saw the request payload look like a string and it was object object so something looked messed up to me like uh, something's getting wrong in the request so this doesn't seem like something we're doing wrong but for whatever reason it's being stringified very weird or it's as if someone's not stringifying it so oops um, the other thing is I saw this unsupported body and knit type here I'm not sure if that's another thing that could be causing a problem um, but I came over here and looked up this uh, see if there's any open issues on Apollo upload client and it looks like there's some dude with the exact same problem that they're getting object object in the request payload um, and it's not working so I don't know if this is a problem with um, this this library and uh, they doesn't have an issue of how to solve this yet but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna end the video here I'm gonna try to get this working on iOS because I have for sure got this working on iOS before I'm not sure if it's just an Android thing or if it's the library got messed up um, and see if it's working there. So that's it for this video guys and let me know in the comments below if it works, if you guys got it to work with Android or with iOS. Um, I'd love to know because I think the, from a coding point of view uh, we're set, we set it up all correctly and we are correctly like sending up a React Native file like it wants us to. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for